25% reduction. That's what all the damage through Amazon dumps of Magic the Gathering has led to. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So, we all know over the past year, two years, there's been some massive dumps of product on Amazon by the Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro. They've made a lot of money. It's helped them stay afloat. I mean, these sets didn't sell well, so how else would you get rid of it, right? Dump it on Amazon. So the biggest problem is, is it screws over the LGSs. Well, I guess not the biggest problem. The biggest problems are it screws over LGSs. It erodes people's trust in the sets. And it just kind of undercuts the whole market and everything. And it does a lot of damage to Magic the Gathering as a whole. Because how can people buy it and trust it? Why should stores buy it at these prices when they could just go on Amazon a couple of months later and get the dump? You know, this may be behind us, but they did overprint and they are holding that stuff. Okay, we've seen stuff like the Secret Lair um, Festival in a Box, where it's just a bunch of packs stuffed in. And, you know, they got a lot of Commander decks that people didn't buy, a lot of Jumpstart, these peripherals, and whatever. So they've dumped all this stuff on major sales on Amazon. And, and you know, we're talking 50% off from where we saw it when it came out, even more in some cases. It's kind of crazy. Like, how can you expect stores to do well if if anybody has stock of Crimson Vow how, that they bought when it first came out? How are they ever going to come out on top of that? They aren't. That's lost uh, money, lost, you know, it's just lost in inventory that's going to sit there forever. Anyway, uh, check out this clip. Get smarter on inventory management through Q3. Hasbro's total inventory is down 27% year over year, with a 34% reduction in our CP business. We anticipate we'll end the year with inventories 20 to 25% below 2022 levels. This should enable us to improve cash flow and lower our allowances in the quarters to come. Given the headwinds facing our consumer product segment, the flow through to the bottom line on these initiatives has not materialized as quickly as anticipated. So we plan to accelerate our efforts heading into 2024. So congratulations, Hasbro, for all this damage. You've um, reduced your inventory by 25%. <laughs> it's not that great. It shows that they have more. Um, I'm wondering what else it is. Uh, probably some, what are they called, Nerf guns and crap like that, you know, uh, toys but you know magic is a big portion of that and um i just want to say that it's probably not worth it maybe you shouldn't have just not printed that stuff in the first place uh, i hope what they're doing now with the current sets and the slightly tighter print runs is going to affect this i hope that we don't see any further Amazon dumps, and if we do, it's only stuff that's already been dumped, so I guess we could just write that off as a permanent loss. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a crazy situation when um, you're supposed to be like a third party selling for a company, and then that company just turns around and undercuts you. I can only imagine the fear at stores and like, the scrambling because if you don't adapt and change to this environment you're gonna go under and we've seen a lot of that it's kind of a a weird time not everybody's going to come out of it okay i just hope the lds as an idea as a way of uh, interacting with magic the gathering and other hobbies doesn't go away and see that's that's part of the problem with this Amazon doesn't have a game room for you to play and to meet people to play and to have tournaments. You know, Target doesn't have a place for you to sit down and play Magic for free just by uh, just because you own the cards, you know. And that's something that everybody's forgetting. They're like, oh, boo hoo, LGSs can't make money off of it anymore. Well, you know what? Boo hoo, 
I wouldn't want to be around in a world where there are no LGSs I can walk into and, and see a display of uh, old cards or any cards, you know, like the reason why I have this around me is because clearly it's a uh, nostalgia for the 90s. It reminds me of that time and the feel of going and shopping and buying physical media. It doesn't remind me of time of um, MTGO or Arena or any of that, okay? Like, that's so cold and disassociated from the original intent behind Magic the Gathering. I mean, I keep staring over there because I'm looking at the fat packs as I'm talking. Um, they wouldn't have created such an amazing display if they didn't want it to have shelf presence and that type of old school feel. It's... It's like what's going on with video games, you know, you can either go and get the cartridge or uh, chip now, I guess, right, or disc, and um, you can get it in its fancy packaging, or you can just go buy a card, redeem it online for the game, or even not even just go buy a card, just go online and download the game. And there's a big difference between the, the physical game and just having a digital copy. I'm a big fan of the physical. Um, look, I like the digital copy as well, but I'm a big fan of the physical. I feel like it has a certain gravitas that is being dismissed when it comes to um, how people do things nowadays, I guess. Anyway, that's just some rambling thoughts about uh, physical media and and how it applies to magic, I guess, right? Anyway, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I still got repacks, I believe. Uh, I'm recording this before, so maybe I do at this point. Anyway, if you're interested in them, check out the ad right before the credits. They're pretty sick. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon channel memberships. Super thanks. And if you're going to buy any cards today, remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description. It is free and easy to use. All you have to do is click on it and shop like normal, and it really helps out a lot. Uh, I have an eBay affiliate link as well. Otherwise, take care. Have a lovely day, guys. And check out the ad. Yes, peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?